Hi. Almighty Control Systems Reports module gives access to your company's data in an easily printable and shareable form. ACS has a variety of built-in report types. I will use the Item Master Summary Report as an example. Let's get started. This tab is a convenient way to access the most commonly used reports. Most of the buttons on this tab take us to the Reports screen. Let's click the Item Master Summary button. The Reports screen has opened. You can access all reports from here. This drop-down list groups reports by type, and here below it we can see a list of available reports of this type. Since we came to the Reports screen by clicking the Item Master Summary button in the Reports tab, ACS has taken us directly to the Item Master Summary report. Let's see what this report looks like right now. To do so, we can click on the Preview button. This lets us see what the report would actually look like if we printed it. Notice that there are six columns. OK, let's go back. As you can see, here are the names of the columns that are part of this report. Notice the checkboxes to the left of the column names. These checkboxes control which columns actually appear on the report. If I check the checkbox in the category row, and then go back to the preview, Notice that the category column has now appeared. There are now seven columns showing. OK. Right now, ACS is showing all inventory items. We can narrow this down by creating a filter. For example, let's say that I want to only see items that have the word cooker in their description. Click in the filter column and select Contains from the filter drop-down list. Then type Cooker into the Starting or Equals field. ACS is now showing only items that have Cooker in the description. I can remove my filters by clicking the Recycling Bin button up here. This returns us to the report's default filter and sort settings. ACS lets me sort the report by any column, in either increasing or decreasing order. Right now, the report is sorted in alphabetical order by category. If I want to sort in alphabetical order by item ID, for example, I can put a check in the checkbox of the A to Z column of the item ID row and uncheck the A to Z checkbox here in the category. The items are now sorted in ascending alphabetical order by their item IDs only. The Z to A column checkbox, of course, will sort in descending order. If neither the A to Z nor Z to A box is checked, ACS does not sort by that column. OK, let me check the A to Z sort checkbox for category again. If the sort checkbox of more than one column is checked, ACS will sort by all of those columns. We can tell ACS what priority it should give various columns in sorting. For example, let's say that I want to sort alphabetically by category, but sort alphabetically by item ID for items with the same category name. I then need to give the item ID a lower sort priority than the one that I give to category. We can do this by changing the value in the sort priority column. A lower number means a higher priority 
So number one means most important. Right now item ID is set to five. Let's change that to six. Now since the sort priority for category is a smaller number than the sort priority for item ID, ACS will sort first by category and only then by item ID. It has worked. Before we go on, let me show you a little bit more about report filters. None just means that no filter is set. The equal sign matches for complete equality, whereas contains matches for if any part is equal. The less than and greater than options are self-explanatory. I would like to note, though, that they actually don't work only with numbers. If you tell ACS to, say, filter for records where the item description is less than M, ACS will show only the records where the first letter of the item description comes before M in the alphabet. You may have noticed that next to the starting or equals column, there is an ending column. This column only works with the between filter type. So, for example, if you wanted to search for dates between July 1st and August 1st, you would pick the between filter and put July 1st into starting or equals and put August 1st into ending. Before I go on to talk about other features, I'd like to point out the save filters and load filters buttons. These can be used to save the current filter settings to disk so that they can be loaded later. If Almighty Control System is set up to be used by multiple users, any change that any user makes to a report will apply to all users. Saving and loading filters is a convenient way for individual users to be able to maintain their own separate report settings. Now, if you look back over here to the Report Selector drop-down list, you will see that some of the options at the top, above the various report types, are Report Finder, Report Usage History, and Favorites. Report Finder lets us look up a specific report by entering all or part of its name. Report Finder can also be accessed through the binoculars icon up here in the upper left of the reports screen. Reports Usage History and Favorites are similar to the Browsing History and Website Favorites in the web browser. Reports Usage History shows a list of the reports that we have viewed in the past. Favorites is a list that we can add a report to by clicking on this folder icon next to the binoculars. Both history and favorites are per user. That is, each user will see their own history and their own favorites, not everybody's. Okay, besides filtering and sorting our data, we might also want to control more precisely what the report ends up looking like. The reports module gives us a good deal of control over the report's layout. There are two fields here on the report screen which have to do with column layout. They are Align and Width. Align controls whether the data in the column is left, center, or right aligned. Width controls the column's width in the report. This number is not an absolute value, but is relative to all columns shown in the report. I've made the item ID column wider and made the data in its center aligned. You might also notice that each report column has a format field. 
The main use of the format field is to set the number of decimal places shown for numerical data. Setting this field to N takes the number of decimal places from a default set in ACS's options screen. Otherwise, setting it to N followed by a number will show the data with that number of decimals. For example, N2 would result in numbers being shown with two decimal places. If you would like to change the font size of text on the report, you can change the value in this field here in the upper right hand corner. You will also see an orientation field above the font size field. You can set its value to one of three options, portrait, landscape, or landscape legal. Portrait is the familiar layout of text on paper where the text goes from top to bottom along the longer dimension of the paper. Landscape is a layout in which the text goes from left to right along the paper's longer dimension. And landscape legal is a wider version of landscape. Okay, so far I've been using the preview button to show the reports that we've been generating. Preview is a good way to see what the report will look like if you print it out or turn it into a PDF file. But what if we just want to see the report displayed in the style of an Almighty Control System screen? We can do this by going to the Browse screen. The Browse screen can be accessed in two ways. You can click on the Browse button up here in the upper left of the report screen. Or you can just double click on the name of the report in the report selector here on the left. The browse screen uses the column widths that we set back in the report screen, but we can also adjust them on the fly. Now that we've looked at the preview screen and the browse screen, I'd like to explain some of the other options for what we can do with the report once it is generated. Print is pretty self explanatory. Excel exports the report as an Excel spreadsheet, and PDF as a PDF. Word exports it as a rich text format file. I should mention in passing that if you export the report in this format, it will lose graphics such as the company logo. PDF is a better choice if you want to keep graphics. Text will save the report as a simple text file. Web will publish it as an HTML web page and email will convert it into a PDF that you can then attach to an email. Okay, that concludes our look at the Almighty Control System Reports module.